Anyway, franchise. Like I said, I was going to do all of this off stream, but there's just way too much to do. So we're going to go through it and I'm going to kind of figure out this roster on the fly. AJ is a lovely thing called Google. So catchers blank, Stephen Kim. Here is the problem with having both of them on the roster. It will give Stephen Kim uh, way more at bats than it will give one Eric blank. Um, you will have blank in against lefties. But um, there are there are more righties in the league, if I am not mistaken. So uh, what we are going to do, and I can't imagine it would it would do anything otherwise. Uh, we are going to run Mr. Eddie Diaz as our backup catcher. More terrible start in Triple A, and I hate to say it for old Stephen Kim, but uh, you're going down to Double A to start this season, my friend. Hate to tell you. Hate to tell you. Hate to tell you. So that will be the setup there. It might take away a little bit of time from these guys, but they're not going to develop anyway, so it's fine. First base. I don't know what to do. Because I think trading with Miguel Fabregas would be a mistake. I do. At the same time, Bill Patel was amazing in the playoffs. And I got to be honest, I feel like I want to rectify what I view as a mistake. I view it as a mistake, and I'm going to go with it. I'm going to go with it. I don't even care. They apparently think they deserve more value. I want Johnny McMahon back. I want our own boy back. I don't even care. I just want our boy back. So give me back my boy. Stephen Kim in the deal. You're out of your fucking minds. I'm not doing that. I'm giving you a superior player. Give me back my boy. Give me back my son. Uh, here, take Scott Duff. <laughs> Scott, I hate you. I hate your guts. Have fun in San Diego, where they don't even have seasons. You know how boring that is? Oh, it's sunny all the time. That gets old. Tired of you. Get out. Bring back Johnny McMahon. Bring back Johnny McMahon. It's the right decision to make, because I love Johnny McMahon. Uh, and he'll be there with Bill Patel. Triple A, pretty straightforward. Double A, single A, pretty straightforward. So there we go. Second base, uh, we are allowed to move Mike Martinez to a secondary position of third base with second base as a secondary position. And that makes him a 94 overall third baseman as well. So he is going to be there. Um, William Quo, obviously at second base, I don't know what to do with Baez because he's way too good to be playing in triple A. That's, I mean, Jesus. Yeah, we are stacked at second base. Baez has no secondary positions, nor does Quo. Torero could be an outfielder. <sighs> oh boy. If I trade Abraham Baez, I think I will regret it. But William Quo. Old Billy K. We can't possibly move on from him. I might have to trade Baez. It would benefit us to trade Baez for the sole purpose of we're going to stunt his development by not playing him every day. And we could get some damn good pieces back. We could. The iconic Billy Kay. Exactly. Exactly, exactly. Changed my hitting view to strike zone too, and I'm hitting a lot more homers. I never used to like those close-in strike zone cameras, but once I adjusted to it, I never looked back. Trade-wise... Really quickly, if I were to deal Abraham Baez, what could I get for him? Polly, good morning, by the way. How are you? Okay, McGaffick in center. Actually, really quickly. So we don't need a third baseman. We don't need a shortstop. We have Conklin as a project shortstop. We got project third baseman. I mean, a project second baseman would make a lot of sense. You could argue another project outfielder. If I were to trade Baez for someone who's MLB ready, what would that deal look like? Have Baez work as DH? That's mm, that's fair. That is fair. The idea was, though, if there's a good enough return for Baez, we take it and then use Mancata. I don't think I would see a deal that I would want... Ellis Betts. Ellis Betts, though. 20A and a 78. 
Arizona. And then Cozart is a fine secondary option. Is there anybody else with an A potential? There is Steve Chadwick, who's awesome, and Tristan McKenzie would be there. Mankata never got to the majors with Boston, though. He was dealt before that. If I'm not mistaken. 99% sure, but now there's a part of me that's second-guessing myself. <laughs> it's almost like it's meant to be. His name will just never stop showing up. Maybe he's the missing piece. Old Mark Sure. Okay, so we could get a pretty good return for Baez. Shout out to Violent Edge. He's packing everything. If we were to deal Mancata instead, and we'd look for prospects for him as well, if we can only run one of them at DH, what would we get for Mancata? And then again with uh, Baez too, I do want to look at prospects. Uh, pretty mid catcher, decent outfielder, really mid third baseman. <laughs> Could also get Ellis Betts here. Baseball oh, fan, thank you for the prime on 56 months. Yeah, this is not what I'm resubbing, but this is apparently my anniversary. I'm confused, but thank you for still supporting my face. Ooh, what a haul that would be. Chavez, Lopez, and Daryl Gibbs. It's not bad. That's also not bad, too. Daniel Drummond as a starter. Very good shortstop prospect, but we already have a good one. And again, I'd only want to deal him to the NL. I don't want to deal with AL teams. Cisneros as a shortstop. Okay. So Drummond on the Brewers. No matter what, we're going to do okay. No matter what, we're going to do okay. Run Baez as the DH. I think we have to. If we run him as the DH, we shouldn't stunt his development. Him or Quo. I think we do get rid of Moncada. Granted, we don't even have to get rid of Moncada, but... It'll likely play him at DH. Right now it's playing Baez, but I haven't simmed a day. I just like to have the auto lineup options, so we don't have to deal with it. And dealing Moncada would uh, work out pretty well for us. There's nobody else who'd really threaten to be a DH. We could move on from Vince Scruggs. Maybe we do keep Baez around as a DH option. Maybe we do. Bad idea. Now that we know the returns are going to be about the same. Again, trades I don't want to make. Like, oh, trade Robert Cowan. It's like, yeah, in real life, no one would trade for him. Type of thing. Torero, we can use as a role player. Mancata for prospects. We don't need Mark Schur because we do have Simmons on the left. So Mancata. I might explore what a Schur trade would look like, though. He was on Atlanta. So, Torero can play the outfield. All right, so looking at these deals. So, it's Oliveros as an outfielder from the Dodgers. Diamondbacks still really want to give up Ellis Betts. Is there anybody else with an A? No. I mean, that's the deal then. Moncada to Arizona. For closer, Ellis Betts and a random first baseman, Stuart Turley. Done deal. Done deal. We'll move Moncada out. Tough decision. And then honestly, at first base, we can just immediately cut Stuart Turley. Sorry, Stu. So second base, Baez will be here. Torero will be on the bench. We need to sign a couple of second basemen. I don't think there are any prospects left available. Actually, I lied. Ah, D potential for that guy. We still might sign him. Do we have anybody? Any half-decent prospects? No. Were there any half-decent first basemen? Talking like 60 or up, maybe even 55. Caleb Bowers, he's not better than who we already have. 
Second base, honestly, just because we need someone. If this guy turns into a C potential, he'd be insane. So we'll go ahead and sign him. Uh, this guy as well, same thing. Just because he's young, he'll be cheap. All these D potential players, because why the hell not? Including Denny Adams. Whoops. So second base, Quo, Baez, Torero, probably all in the major league roster. Let's go with Plaza and Cowan in AAA, uh, Quavedo, Conley in AA, and I got to immediately take him off of the 40 man. And then Denny Adams in single as a depth option. So looking all right there. Third base. Martinez, Chen, obviously Dave Cole will not be there. What's the over-under for wins on the season? That's a good question. I'd probably set it at at least 90. We can have a prediction up. So Triple A is in a really weird spot because all of these guys deserve space. We're going to go with Cole, Laird, and Welsh in Triple A, and then Logan and Tunic in double. And we can leave it like that. Shortstop, pretty straightforward. We'll go with Nunn and Conklin, leave these two guys in single, unless there was anybody that was worth signing, and I highly doubt it. David Young, who we had. Actually, we could bring on David Young from the looks of it. Anybody at shortstop? Anybody at all want to be half decent, younger player worth signing? Could I switch out some prospects for some playing time to balance up the team? Could do that too. Um, I prefer not to move players though if I can help it. Ripley, thank you for the seven months. Appreciate you. How the heck are you tonight? I hope you're well. Um, two, four, six. Honestly, yeah, we actually don't need David Young. We'll just waste that little bit of money. That's fine. Shortstop, fine for now. Outfield. Outfield, outfield, outfield. Based off of player developments. Okay, I'm going to have to check the outfield really quickly, too. Again, this is why I normally like doing this off stream, but I knew we'd have big enough changes to the roster that this was worth kind of doing on stream. And let's bring on Yokoyama. Move minor leagues in positions. I, I'm not saying it's unrealistic. I just don't necessarily prefer it, but I might explore that option. All right, outfield. That's fine. Just send Yokoyama down the double. Okay, so really quickly, one, two, three, and four. What could I get for Scruggs? Because he is never going to be a full-time guy here. And if I can turn him into a younger outfield prospect, it would probably be worth it to us. Especially because we have Torero to be that backup outfielder. So I can't imagine when Scruggs would ever get to play. Uh, Oliveros would actually be perfect. 20A and a 63. We get a random reliever. That Dodgers deal is pretty good. We could get a starting pitcher in Garrett Ramos. Well, there's a new deal. 19B and a 70, Pierre Maldonado. <laughs> Robert Piper, 19B and a 74 as a starter. I was interested in going after primarily an outfielder, but... That is too good of a pitcher to not go after. St. Louis, you have yourself a deal. Vince Scruggs, thank you for developing, but yeah, you're never going to be kind of full-time in the picture for us. Let's see, so if we drop Edwards down to triple. I don't know if I need to call up another outfielder because we have Torero. Shout out to Dewinkle. All the pack luck for Dewinkle. Uh, so let's see... Anybody over A65, so it's 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Double A is 1, 2, 3, 4. That should be fine. Darth, what's going on? I am doing tremendously well. How are you? Honestly, that should work for the moment. Pitchers, 2, 3, again, after signing Chavez, 4, 5, and 6. Barbori will go down. Chavis will go down. It's 1, 2, 3. 
four and five with Castro. We do need starters. We do need random starters. There are no younger dudes. How much money do we have? About $65 million in cap space, which is insane. Um, honestly? I mean, Walker Bueller was shit last year, but, well, I mean, he's not going to be happy, but I don't really care. I'll just sign you for a year and play in the minors. Same for Giolito. Oh, shit, we have a full roster. Never mind. How do we have a full roster? Really? I didn't think we had that many guys. Two, three, four, five, six. Bueller down to AAA. Two, three, four, five, and six. So ideally, three more starters would be nice. How many relievers do I have? A lot. <laughs> A lot is the correct answer. Sheesh. Any reason why you don't look at all the trades and using the trade finder? Uh, because for the most part, I find that the first offer is always the best one, or at least involves the best prospect. Because the other trades typically involve, if the first one involves two people, trades two and three typically involve three pieces involved, which means the value is going to be more spread out. All right. Well, in terms of project relievers, it's not looking great. I'll tell you that much. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have to send down three relievers. Obviously, one, two. If if Sable's still going to struggle, he's going to get cut. I don't care what that contract is. If we go off of rating, it's one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So, Gilly, down you go. De Jesus, Henches. That brings the roster down to 26. If we look at the rotation, actually, it's Simidae, so it resets itself. Uh, auto fix rotation. Rodriguez Asensio. It puts Chavez as a long reliever. Okay. The other guys do have more stamina. Interesting. I mean, obviously, we'd prefer it to be uh, to be this, which is pretty good. I mean, regardless of how it shapes up, it's not looking bad. I admittedly, though, might take advantage of changing closer. I don't like two different setup men. Also, it's like almost all righties from the fucking bullpen. I don't like how it sets up two different setup guys because they just never end up playing. I might have to be a little bit more hands-on this season in terms of how that is. Um... Do we have mostly righties? We do. We don't have too many lefties coming out of the bullpen. Interesting. Uh, so triple A really quickly. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. We got to cut three dudes off that triple A roster. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So the two seventies to Jesus can go down to double. The veteran Henches can go down to double. Six. We're still one player over in Triple A. It's because of that extra third baseman, but then the shortstop should balance it out. What if we just consider it outfielders? Drop Para down to Double A. Two, three, four, five. And if Yokoyama ends up sitting there, so then relievers in double. It's one, two, three, four. Uh, let's go with these guys who kind of suck. Five and six. We're still a little bit short. Where the hell? All right, so we clearly have too many relievers. So you know what? Actually, Dan Ha, who we drafted last year. Sorry, but Dan's out. So is Juan Valenzuela. He was not the one. Four. Let's go five. 
and six. And then John Schreiber just refuses to retire. We'll go ahead and cut him. Uh, and let's cut actually Sanchez. He's not very good. We'll bump up McIntyre. That should leave me enough to sign a few more veteran starters. So we bring in Giolito. Let's bring in Kyle Wright and Mitch Keller just to pitch in the minors, make those minor league teams a little bit better. Uh, so Giolito. Down to double A. Also, get off of the 40 man. Mitch Keller, down to double A. Also, get off of the 40 man. Kyle Wright, down to double A. Get off of the 40 man. And we should be okay. Should be. We're actually, one short on the Major League roster, which means somebody got hurt. I'm sorry, Johnny. I try to do the right thing and bring you back and you break your fucking ankle. 